Hi guys and welcome to the new video I'm going to be doing on the alpha for BFA um, and in this one I'm going to be going through all of the weapons which are currently on the alpha and what they look like and I will be giving my opinions on them. So first off I'm going to start with the shields. Currently in the alpha every single shield that is a artifact weapon is up for transmogging. So as you can see I'm a warrior and I currently have the um, Fury of the Stone Mother which is the second part of the shaman artifact and the shaman shield for healing but i think on release this will probably just be your class because it's a bit stupid that i'm a warrior with um yeah this shield and the hammer so to start off with shield these are just the basic green ones which you get from questing so as you can see pretty simple it shares its um share its models with other ones so you can see that one's black that one's brown that one's gold, another brown one. But yeah, these are probably just ones you'll get from questing or just greens around the world. And the next one's this kind of troll one, which we'll probably get from uh, horde questing. So yeah, from the horde zones, we'll probably be getting these either from a drop or from the quests. So yeah, we know these will drop in Kulturus because they have the Kulturus logo, that's the emblem. And these will probably drop in Zandalar. Next one's cold scale shields. These are different ones, different look to them. These are probably another Kulturus one. These kind of look like a Kulturus tanking shield because they're quite large and look like they're actually be used, whereas these ones kind of look like the healing ones. They'll probably give it intellect or something like that. Kind of small one. Same goes for these ones, just this one obviously has spikes on. It'll be usable as a shield. And these are just, you know, a little healing one, small healing one, still greens. Now we're moving on to the dungeon ones. So this one drops off Tol Dagor. I've done a video on this dungeon. It's pretty good. It's based in Kulturus about a um a prison, so it fits quite well with the prison aesthetic. Next you have another shield. This is dropped off a um oh they all drop off Jez Howling, but I think that's wrong. They've got to edit that. But yeah, it's just a three different colour there you can get. Then there's ones which drop from Zandalar dungeons. And apparently some of these drop from Uldir as well. So these can be in the first raid, which is about the titans. And yeah, that's it for shields. And I'm going to offhands. The reason I did the video as a warrior, because warriors are the only class which can literally equip every single weapon, or be in their appearances. So you can see I literally have every single weapon. So yep, offhands. So now we're going through these. So we have this little jar with something inside it. Let's see if I can zoom in. Looks like a bones and a, and a helmet. So yeah, I see it drops off all deer. And then there we have these dungeon ones. So this drops in King's Rest. That dungeon isn't out yet. Then there's another one. So this just, yeah, looks pretty good. Just the different color variants. Then there's green ones. These seem to drop off the quests. Maybe Zandalar with the whole aesthetic there. And then the next ones are just lamps from um, probably Kulturas. They fit the like wooden aesthetic because obviously Corteris is boats and stuff like that, so it'll fit that aesthetic. Next, we'll move on to maces. So maces quickly. Um, there's this type, this appearance. So there's a few color variants for that: gold, brown. It kind of looks like Corteris again, with especially the wooden aesthetic. And then there's the Zandalar questing ones, which you know are gold and metal, stuff like that. There you go, questing ones. Then these are world drop ones. I'm not sure where they drop. World quest, world drop quests. These probably just drop off mobs and quests in the later zones. It looks like Kulturus as well, but I'm not too sure about this one. Then there's this one handed. These look like Zandalar again, obviously with that. The aesthetics are really like, you know which ones are going to go where. I think these ones are just the ones they're adding in Legion, but they're up at the front because they've been changed. Next ones are from um, Dungeons, obviously because this is like a pirate... Um, Pirate Claw, this will probably drop in the pirate areas. So obviously it says Freehold now because that's the pirate dungeon. But that will probably change. They're probably just adding these in because they're all the same variant. But there's different colours to them. As you can see. Now the next one looks like a... Well this, these ones drop in all deer and in on bosses, in dungeon bosses. So these will probably be in dungeons because they're pretty simple. Just wooden from Kulturas. And the next ones are just um, the, troll bl the blood trolls. So as you can see, there's blood coming out of it, linked to the blood trolls, and it's got a quite simple aesthetic, like most of the troll stuff has. 
So next I'll be axes. You see these here again, so I think they'll be under maces because they don't particularly look like axes, but yeah, there's the axes. So there's this one, which it kind of looks really cool with a gun and an axe on top of each other. I don't think it will do much, just aesthetic. And you can get a few different ones, so the gun's gold on that one, gun's black on that one, and that one's just not changed, a bit brown. So obviously that will be in uh, Kulturas, and then there's the troll ones. Currently you can only quest in these specific zones, so I think that's why they've got these appearances out first, because they're just the simple ones. So yeah, you can see they are probably dropping Zendalar. There's not much here, but they've added this one. This is the only new axe they've added into dungeons, so Servant Splinter, but there'll definitely be more coming in soon. Next to swords. So, first swords, these are especially ones you'll get in called Tiras, because, you know, it looks parity with the Slash Saber. You can get different recolors of them. Brown, blue, red, gold. Next is the Zandalar um, weapon, so you can see sword, you know, it's simply, you know, Zandalar. That one looks really good with the gold. Now there's a there's a dark purple one and a green. And next it will be the next set of um I'm pretty sure Alliance because it looks pretty alliancey if you ask me. Simple, clean. The next ones, these are dropped in the um zones. So it seems these are two handed, but they've just added them into one handed. So it sees there City of Gold, two handed swords. Because that would look pretty ridiculous as a one handed. Next one, that one's just in uh, Legion, but it's been added again. Next, this, these are the swords which drop in dungeons, so I'm pretty sure this one will be dropping in the troll dungeons, the Zandalar dungeons, because as you can see they look really, really good, especially with the lightning coming off them. Next ones, these seem to drop off all day. These are like some of the best models I've seen, really, really sharp, especially with, I think that's a skull, yeah. So that probably drops off all the different difficulties or different bosses and wherever. So next we'll move on to the daggers. So daggers. As you can see, these are Zandalar requesting ones, so you're pretty sure you'll see a few rogues running around with these. Next ones are probably the Kulturas ones, because as you can see, they're pretty simple. And you can kind of get used to the colour styles, like as you'll see, that there's a running theme. Next ones are just World Drop Daggers. I'm not sure where these may be Kulturas, maybe Zandalar, who knows. Then these next ones, again, pretty simple. And different colour variants for them. And the next ones are Zandalar ones, probably from another questing zone. So they look good with all them appearances. Then there's just another one of these. These are just the ones from Legion. Now there's the ones from the dungeons, which look pretty cool. Kind of like the priest artifact weapon. Let's go for these purple, red. Now there's daggers from raids. Obviously you know it's from raids because of the uh, it's really detailed on, on the actual guide. It's got a lot of uh, colour to it. So you can see these, these blades kind of change colour as you hold them. And there's different colour variants for them. Next we'll go fist weapons. Quickly have a look at these. Oh, that's... Okay. So there's only one There's only one, one page of these added. So you can see this one's the Kulturas one. Quite simple, wooden. With just the sharp blades. Then there's the Zandalar ones. I don't really like these ones. They're really, really small. But yeah, these are the different colour variants you can get for them. Next one more Kulturas one, another Kulturas one, these are just recolors, Kulturas, Kulturas. Now these next ones, I think these will be raid slash dungeons. I'm not sure, they haven't, you see the different places they'll drop. But they look really, really good. We'll probably go with a good transmog set, this will probably go for with a set for shamans or something like that. Next two-handed axes. So there's only one page of these, they'll probably be more added soon. So these are probably the Zandala ones, they look really, really good. And fleshed out, just really, really big. Now the different colours, and then the next, I'm pretty, yeah, they haven't added in any for the um, for Kulturas yet. These seem to all be Zandalari. So yeah, you can see the Zandalari ones first. I'm pretty sure there'll be axes you can get in Kulturas, but they just haven't been added onto the pages. Two-handed swords. So there's only one page of these, probably yet to add. As you can see, it's the Kulturas one again. The the one handed and the two handed kind of look the same, but just with um just with a few changes. And currently, some of them are placed on here like a one handed. It's actually a two handed, but it's just what the uh, build is doing now. So this will definitely be on your back because it's quite big. But you can see the different color ones, probably from Zandalar requesting. Next one, this kind of looks like the arms artifact weapon. So this will either drop in raids or dungeons. But as you can see, it's really really good. It's really cool. 
So yeah, that would definitely drop in a Zandalari dungeon or raid. Next, two-handed maces. So, so here, so these are just the Zandalari ones you'll get from questing. So different colours of them. Next is Cool Terras. Obviously, you can kind of see the symbol upside down there. And these are just three colours ones. And then the next ones are dungeons or raids. And these look really, really good. Really fleshed out. So these might be raid ones because, you know, they have the animations and stuff like that. So, yeah. But that looked really good on a goblin with, you know, their tech stuff. Next is staffs. There's been a lot of staffs added. So we'll start here. These are probably Zandalari Question ones. They look really, really good. Really fleshed out at the top. But yeah, now I'll go on to the uh, Kulturas ones. So as you can see, you know, pirate, pirate hook. And there's just recolors of these. So you can get a lot of variety. Next one's a Zandalari one, so you'll get that as horn. Another Zandalari one. Another one, a little purple from the previous, blue. It says world drop, but it will probably be questing more than likely. And yeah, this one's a cool terrace. So this one looks like a dungeon or a raid one. It looks really, really good. Will probably be a raid with, you know, how good it looks. Especially if you'll get it on difficulty, difficulty, it will have some animations to it. So you can, yeah, you see it really, really good. Really good for warlocks, that top of the spear will be. Next ones, these are dungeon ones. These have already got dungeons, so these will drop in different dungeons, I think, with a different colour. But as you can see, they're putting loads of detail in the weapons, not just the raider ones. Because this is just a simple dungeon one, it still has animations. So there's going to be loads of um, variety to choose from. Next one is another dungeon one, and there's a few recolors, so they'll drop in different places. Next one is another. So as you can see, it's a scythe, but it's a different take, it's quite bent. But yeah, this drops in Waycrest Manor. So we'll probably do with ghosts if there's, you know, a skull on top there. Next we'll go pole arms. So it seems there hasn't been that many added. So now these ones, I think I think this won't be an old deer one, because it says it drops in old deer the raid, but it doesn't look that simple. So yeah, these are the different recolors of them. There'll probably be more added soon for the raids because I doubt people would use these for raids. The next one's probably the cool Tiras questing. See the different colours of them. Next is the take on the sword, but it doubles, as you can see, that's really, really cool. And it drops from um, boss, so probably the Zandalari dungeon. Next ones are the Kultiras dungeon ones, so ones in, you know, Siege of Boros, that's not out yet. And yeah, Waycrest Manor, probably. Next one are bows. There's a lot more bows to be added, they just haven't put them in yet. Because yeah, as you can see, there's only like five, but there'll be a lot more added. These are probably just the Zandalari questing ones, because they're yet to bring in the Kulturas ones, but they'll soon do that. So these are just the recolors. And the next ones are all there, but I think these will be dungeon ones in the Zandalari, because they don't look that fleshed out. But they kind of have an old, like, the Windrunner vibe for Hunters. Next is guns. So guns, you can see these ones. So these, this is a world, world drop one, so this will probably be Kulturas, I think, because it's got quite simple. The next one is another gun, and this one's from all deer. Or I think Waycrest Manor as well, because as you can see, it's blue, boss drop. So this will be in dungeons or raids. The next one's dungeons. As you can see, these are really, really cool. They, this one drops in the mother load. They all drop in the mother load, but I think that's, you know... They'll be dropping in different places, but they've got, you know, different recolors. But yeah, they look really, really good. And now, lastly, for the crossbows. So it seems to only be four. So as you can see, here's one. That'll probably drop from Kulturas Questing. See, it looks really, really cool. There's another one. There's another one, just recolors of them. But yeah, that's it for the video. Um, I'll be making videos in the future on the different sets. So for plate, cloth, whatever. So yeah, like and subscribe for that. And comment if I missed anything out. And see you in the next one.